Luke 21 and 19. Give me that. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 19. Come Bring on. It out. In your patience, possess ye your soul. You hear that? You hear what God read it again. In your patience, possess ye your soul. Because you said how long it's going to take for us to get back. And, the, and a lot of people ask that question. But in your patience, you got to possess your soul. It's going to it's gonna, it's gonna take patience for you to actually come learn the Bible. Then you got to teach it to your daughter. She got to grow up in it. You got to keep the commandments. And then you got to be around like-minded brothers and sisters. That's, that's right. going to take a patience, a level of patience. You're probably dealing with other different things. That's contrary or against God, with God's word. Some right. of those things are going to take patience for you to come up out of. You know what I mean? So, for example, you eat shrimp. God said you can't do that. What about crab lobster? Those things you got to come up out of. it. You understand? If you smoke cigarettes, weed, you got to stop doing that. It's going to take patience. You understand? You got to be patient with yourself. And then you can possess your soul. You will own your soul. You will rule your soul. Take, you know what I mean? It take, us, it take us individually to get ourselves right. Then we get ourselves together collectively. All right, so now go, go to that Hosea. Hosea chapter 6, verse 1. Come and let us return unto the Lord. Uh -huh. For he hath torn and he will heal us. Uh -huh. He hath smitten and he will bind us up. Read it again. Come and let us return unto the Lord. So this is the first step. Come and let us return to the Lord. Because we just went over with the, with the sister, the dress code on how women must dress. You understand? Pants, when women wear pants and leggings and shorts, that's out of order. You are far from the Lord when you dress like that, okay? And us returning back to the Lord, women got to put on dress, a nice, flowy, modest dress. Come, let us turn to the Lord. Read. For he hath torn. For he torn us, meaning he took us from our rulership. He torn us down from it, cast us out. And now we're here in Babylon the Great, or a.k.a. America, serving our enemies. He's torn us, read. And he will heal us. And he's going to heal us. He want to heal us. But that's why he's waking up his prophets today, right now, to give you guys the word un unadulterated. That's line right. upon line, precept upon precept. Giving y'all right. the understanding of what must you do to come back. Because the Lord wants you to come back to him, but it's up to you to actually do it. A lot of times our people hear what you got to do, and they say, I ain't doing that. Because they want to do what they want to do. Right. You see what I'm saying? So God said, what? Return, come and let us return unto the Lord. Come, let us keep the commandments. Let us keep the Sabbath day holy. Let us marry our women. Right. Let us sisters marry our uh, marry the husbands. Let the sisters be submissive to the husbands. Let the men work jobs. Uh, let the man clean his household up. Get his household in order. That's for you brothers. Y'all gotta clean clean your household up. Clean yourself up. Let us come turn to the Lord. Read. For He have torn uh -huh. and He will heal us. And He gonna heal us. Read. But we gotta turn to Him. Read. He has smitten, and he will bind us up. And he took us, he's smitten us with madness. He's smitten us with poorness. Our communities are poor. They infested with drugs. You understand that? He did that. Why? Because we, he, we, we turned our back from him. But he's telling us, let us turn to him. Is that it on that? Okay. Read. The book. Of Ecclesiasticus, uh -huh. chapter 17, verse 25. Read. Return unto the Lord uh -huh. and forsake thy sin. And for what? And forsake thy sin. So if you eat shrimp, crab, lobster, that's a sin. If you smoke cigarettes, that's a sin. If you don't keep the Sabbath day holy, that's a sin. If a woman, if you having, if you having sex and you're not married, that is a sin. It's fornication and adultery. If you have hatred towards your brother, that's a sin. If you are in, in homosexuality, that's a sin. If you are in interracial marriage, that is a sin. White, black men and white women don't go together. That's a sin. God said you have to what? Turn back to him. These things we bring out are sins. If you are in them, turn away from them. Then turn back to the Lord. All right? Read. Make thy prayer before his face. Make your prayer before his face after you committed, after you took, cut off your sin. Read. And offend less. And offend less. Okay, and offend less. Stop being offensive out here. You know, carry yourself in a holy manner. All right? Is that it on that? Okay, go ahead. Read on. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity. Turn again, turn back to the Most High because, believe it or not, the Most High is extending his hand out to each and every one of you right now. That's, That's why you're right. hearing what you're hearing today. Okay, he wants you guys to come and repent. Start keeping his commandments. Turn back to him. Read. For well, he will lead thee out of darkness. He will lead you out of this captivity that we're in, out of these poor conditions we're in. He's going to lead us out of there. 
He's going to lead us. Y'all understand what God is telling you? Read. And to the light of help. And to the light of help. His commandments. They'll help you. They'll clean you up. They'll get you right. They'll make everything okay when you start keeping the God commandments. All right? And hate thou abomination vehemently. Okay. One more. One more. Micah 4 and 10. All right. Read that. Micah 4, chapter 10. This is the book of Micah. Chapter 4, verse 10. Come on. And it reads, be in pain and labor to bring forth. So after you've been patient, you start to keep the commandments now as a, as a process God is telling us, be in pain and labor to bring forth. Bring forth what? The kingdom. Bring forth our rulership again. But it has to be in pain and labor. This is a part of laboring right here. Us coming from Chicago to here to come bring the word forth to you guys. That's labor you got to do. Labor is... Some of the pain that's gonna that you're gonna have to endure is converting your soul back to God. Right. Some of the things that you gotta cut off, you like doing. Let's just be honest. You like doing what you're doing. The sin you in right now, you like it. It's comfortable, but it's gonna take you to be in pain to change. So God is saying, what? Be in pain uh -huh. and labor to bring forth. So after you change, now you gotta labor to bring forth the kingdom by letting your light shine to the rest of the world. Read. Oh, daughter of Zion. All, all you Israelites, read on. Like a woman in travail. Like a woman that's pregnant that's finna give birth. That's how we gotta do it. Seriously, read. For now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field. And now we shall go forth out of the city. What city? The city we're in right here. Babylon the Great, White Island. Read. And thou shalt go even to Babylon. And with the Lord have remember we read it say he torn us and he put us and he cast us down. And then when he did that, he put us in Babylon. That's where we at right now. Read. There shalt thou be delivered. Here, right here where you at right now, you're going to be delivered from the Lord himself. But you got to take them steps that we went over. And it's a lot more to learn, but you got to be patient to possess your soul. But we, cause we, we, we possessing our soul right now. We trying to get you guys to possess yours as well. We understand it takes patience. You understand that? That's what we out here to give it to y'all so y'all can do like-minded. Because we okay with where we at. We know the kingdom awaits us. We know if we continue in this fight, this fight keeping God's commandments, ain't nothing to worry about. But can y'all say the same thing? Because we all know it's a judgment day. Right. We all know that the book's going to be open and God's going to judge you according to the Bible. Right. Line you up. Huh? Did you do this? Did you do that? Lake of fire, you go. You ain't. The prophets came out here, they taught you, and you disregarded it. So... Right. I be it behoove you guys to take heed to what we're bringing out. Read. Because these, again, these are not our words. This is thus saith the Lord out of the Holy Bible. That's right. Read. There the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thy enemies. There, right here in Rock Island, the Lord is going to redeem you guys from the hand of your enemies. All right? Yeah. Who are your enemies? All right. Anyway, your enemies are the, the so-called white man. That's the enemies. God called them your enemies when you read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. You know what I mean? It don't take a rocket sign to see that's how they treat us, how they do us. Look at the government they got set up. It's completely against us. It's not for us. Right. God said you're going to be redeemed from them guys, the people that put you in these conditions. Okay? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.